everything started um, with a leukemia proteomic project. We were studying a special type of leukemia called acute myeloleukemia. It's the most common and deadly leukemia among adults. But the standard of therapy has remained the same for the past 30 and 40 years. And researchers like us were trying to improve diagnostics and therapeutics of this disease. So during this research, a problem that we encountered when we try to uh, separate groups of leukemia patients is that we don't have any prior knowledge of how many groups of leukemia patients there exist in nature. What we did in this paper is we developed a new computational method called progeny clustering that help uh, biomedical researchers and people in a lot of other industries to estimate the optimal number of clusters in their data set. Clustering is used so broadly, and this is a way that works with these very high dimensional data, um, which is coming to be more frequent in biology and, and in the clinic, and it doesn't need a lot of samples. This is in comparison to big data approaches, where you need to have a lot of different samples for all, the same type of data, clinical data. It's exciting because it can be applied so broadly to things like grouping voters to figure out which marketing ads you should assigned to a particular group of people, and to clinical trials where it can really make a difference between life and death.